Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Progressive Martial Artist, also known as Fly Tie MMA on Twitter. Um, I want to make this video because we had a big debate night, right? Um, we was I was really looking forward to this debate. I've been saying for a long time I was very excited um, when Michael Bloomberg was uh, was eligible to be part of the debate because even though it was a very shady ruling on the Democratic Party, I was looking forward to seeing him being body bagged, and it was. <laughs> It was uh, the best thing I could have possibly asked for because I thought it would be more Bernie and maybe Biden going after him. I was pleasantly surprised that Warren dropped some bombs too. It was like, hey, Tag, your turn to take on Bloomberg. Uh, Amy Klobuchar got in some action. Pete got in. Everyone was taking body bag uh, turns on Michael Bloomberg. But in my opinion, I don't think that's the biggest story of the night because um, even though – we had, in my opinion, three winners from last night debate. Also, I think Bernie had a strong night. He was, um, he, he actually set his best debate fundraising night um, last night out of all the debates. It just showed the strength of his performance. Um, surprisingly enough, I think Joe Biden did pretty well as well because any night where he's not the main center of attention of attacks, it's a good night for him, and he didn't take a lot of blows. He was landing some on Bloomberg, and he kind of just stayed in the background. So I think that's his. Be this has been his be uh, best debate because of that. And then we have Warren, who honestly pretty shocked me because she wasn't laying a glove on Bloomberg um, ever since his announcement. Um, so when she came on this debate, she knows that this is her last chance. So she has actually had a pretty good debate. Um, attacking Bloomberg, but she don't have a viable path to the nomination, and which is which is why I want to shoot this video as well. Um, outside of Bloomberg getting body bag, I think the biggest story of the night was all the candidates telling on themselves. So we have an entire party where all the candidates don't believe in democracy. How, how crazy is that? Like we've seen the same liberals complain about um, Hillary Clinton. Uh, winning the popular vote against Trump, and now they are advocating um, for supporting a nominee who don't have uh, the victory in the popular vote. Obviously, our man Bernie Sanders here, as you see from my hoodie I love, is the only guy who's, who said that the person with the most delegates to win. So we have a candidate for, we have a lineup full of candidates that don't support democracy and and you and this is why I've been mentioning it for a long time now that uh, Russia, Russia Gate, and um, all the accusations that Russia is a threat to our democracy, that Donald Trump is a threat to our democracy, is just projection uh, from the Democratic Party. Because if you look at the last few years, there's nobody that's a bigger threat to democracy than the Democratic Party. You have the DCCC, who has essentially blacklisted any progressive. Um, primary opponent, actually any primary opponent, but they may accept uh, some exceptions if you're pro uh, establishment. So you had a D triple C, uh, D triple C, who was who banning primary opponents. You have Democratic candidates that said we should nominate someone who don't have the most pledged delegates, which answers the question on why a lot of these people are staying in. You have Warren, who don't have a real path to nomination, staying in because she won uh, a, co a contested convention. They want to achieve power. They don't care how they do it. They don't care about the will of the voters. And this was a big... Um, I can't believe they just told on themselves like that. I remember when I was at the debate watch party, watching it with my friends here. And when they asked that question, I was like, oh, okay. That's actually a pretty good question from uh, Chuck Todd, uh, surprisingly enough. And they just all took the debate. I couldn't believe it. And now I'm glad to see that they were getting some pushback today. I just had to talk about it because this is what I mean. Uh, the Democrat Party, they always talk about false suppression. They want to talk about the GOP. They want to blame Russia, but they have their own problems. You saw what they did in 2016. You saw what they did in I the Iowa caucus. You see what they plan to do in the Nevada uh, caucuses when they not, they might not even release the, the totals the same day. So it's just constant pathological behavior from the Democrat Party where they believe they can overwrite democracy as they see fit. So, um... This is why it's important to never, ever pledge your votes. And I've been a big advocate of Bernie or Bus since day one because they've been asking uh, Bernie supporters, will, will we support the nominee 
if Bernie is not the guy. And I believe they've been asking that just to gauge our, try and gauge our reaction. And earlier last year, you had a lot of people. Honestly, I don't blame them. Like, I don't believe in voter ch shaming. I think you should vote your conscience. But you had a lot of Bernie supporters that said they will vote the nominee, even if Bernie wins. And they were saying that last year, and now I think the party got the data they was looking for, and now they have the, um, they feel emboldened to uh, cheat Sanders. But um, the good thing is we are super hyper aware, and I think if they do anything like that, it'd be the death of the Democratic Party. Hey, but my thing is people saying they don't want to do it. I think they will because I think they'd rather kill the party off than having their power uh, effectively checked and challenged by our movement. So. Uh, I just want to talk about that. That's a huge story. Um, I know that a lot of Rose Twitter is focusing on it, but this is the biggest story of the night. I think this should be on every every media outlet. It's it's pretty crazy that we have a party that has such a disdain uh, towards democracy, and and this is why Bernie's my only candidate. If Bernie if Bernie doesn't go through, um, and they, if they do anything uh, to rob Bernie of the nomination. I will actively campaign uh, for the Green Party. I will try and bring as many black and young voters away from the Democratic Party as possible because um, it just completely uh, morally reprehensible behavior uh, they are uh, committing by being anti-democracy. So, anyway, I, I appreciate you guys uh, supporting me in my my time down here in uh, South Carolina. So, um, I feel really good about our chances here, knocking on a lot of doors uh, yesterday. We bringing in a lot of new voters in that who, who did vote last time, who's who supporting the Sanders. So you know, I'm gonna keep working hard, and we gonna keep doing our thing, even though the Democratic Party is anti-democracy. Take care, guys.